Hello and welcome and I think this is going to be my final report from the floods, how it's happened and uh, what it's like. Now I'm going to start off with looking down here, I didn't show this before but there was a police uh, blocked the road down there. Part of it was left open so that the locals could actually get through and if you saw the earlier videos you saw they had to sort of drive through the water. So it was possible to get through. There was also a couple of police officers down there some of the time, not all the time. Now, uh, so that's the first change that's been made. Now I'm now also going to assume that we can now walk, go along the uh, dikes because it was forbidden to go on the dikes. I noticed that there are people on them. I had to wait for people to get off them, so I didn't want to film them doing anything which might be illegal. Uh, we can see there is a bit of water here next to the dike, and we can see what I described as a large river, or looking like a large river. It sort of reminded me of some of these films from the Serengeti or something like that. And, uh, but it's, so uh, that's still there. Uh, but here we can see this. I wouldn't say dried up, because you can see where it was wet. But it's a uh, lot less water there than there was yesterday. And so I think it's fair to say that the as far as Wrocław is concerned, that the emergency is over. There were people talking of a second wave. Now, second waves did happen, for example, in 1997. Uh, but uh, here, I don't think there's any danger of that. We've had uh, a lot of sunny days. Well, obviously, the sun doesn't... Uh, it's not the sun, but it's the rain. <laughs> and without the rain falling in uh, large amounts in the south. Uh, the reason for the floods appears to have been the very warm air over the Mediterranean leading to greater humidity which caused the storm and as the temperature gets warmer there'll be more and more of them except for those who believe that it's the, there's no such thing as global warming they will have some other excuse which I can't say what it would be oh I note there's now a lot of uh, swans over there, there were seven yesterday, now there seems to be more. They're going to be disappointed when the water goes away. Question is, how long will it take to go away? It, um, I do appreciate that this is a matter for the water table, and clearly the water table is very high, but uh, yeah, it's it was, it's much lower than it was yesterday. So to think that when I came down here three days ago, I had to wade through water. And now it's all gone on the road anyway. See a horse has been down here, left it, uh, left the deposit. How come when you've got a dog you have to clear up your dog's deposits, but horse owners don't have to? There's a question. <laughs> Write the answer below. So the water here though is not going away as quickly as it is on the northern side of the road. So this is the southern side I'm looking at now. But I think that this looks all oh, really nice scene. I think that looks really attractive. The water isn't too dirty either, so that shows it's been moving. And I do appreciate the people, I really do appreciate the suffering of those people who, uh, lost everything because of this uh, storm which really hit so quickly and I think with very little notice I think oh, I don't know that because I was uh, I was at a trade fair in Germany and so I wasn't looking at the weather forecast
Oh, now we see this little islands are appearing in the fields. Oh, it didn't take the swans a very long to actually move in. And there's a flock of birds over there. Black and white birds. And I can't tell what they are, but I've got an idea. But I can't believe they'd be found here. So if anybody else has got any idea what they, they may be, do say so. I'll try and take a photograph when I stop filming. Now I'll try and identify the birds. And here we see uh, what for me became my view of the flood, which is this point here with the no entry sign. But now you can see where the road is supposed to be because of the vegetation. So unless there's any more demands for up or requests for updates i'm gonna leave it there thanks very much for watching for those who watch the others also thank you i know it wasn't huge amounts of people who watched it but if it was interesting for some then great for the moment from me uh, just outside groblica uh, lower silesia poland thanks for watching and bye for now